Hi, this is Kamala Murphy, and you are listening to the Heart and Chutzpah podcast, where we talk about giving ourselves permission or having the chutzpah to just claim a right to live really juicy, luscious lives. With our big hearts, we're going to face love and loss, heartache and healing. We'll fall down and rise up again. And through it all, we'll develop our heart and our chutzpah, and we'll find our way to our own unique, luscious and amazing life. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy this episode. Hi there, this is Kamala Murphy. Welcome to this episode of the Heart and Chutzpah podcast. Thank you for listening in or watching. Now, I know this is not going to come to a shock to any of you, but these times are really, really challenging. We've, we've moved from what was normal, whether we liked that normal or not, to a place of not knowing. We, there is no new normal yet. We have no idea what's really coming, and every day things are changing. We humans like a little variety, but not this much. The uncertainty and confusion and who do I listen to, it, it wreaks havoc for us. And this has been a particularly tough couple of years. In fact, you, know, you add the holidays to it, and it's just even more so because we have so many expectations about what the holidays are supposed to be like. Um, and for most of us, the holidays have shifted. We're not able to be with the people that we love. We haven't been able to celebrate. We've had differing viewpoints about how things are supposed to be. So it's a lot of frustration, a lot of animosity and bitterness and hard feelings. It's just life is really hard. So I wanted to read a little bit from a piece that I had actually read a couple of years ago. Uh, the author's name is John Pavlovitz, and I followed him for quite some time. But he was he was writing his blog post uh, at, at Christmas time, and he writes, I'm writing this to those who have been left broken by this year, by its cruelty and bitterness and violence. I'm writing to those of you who harbor more anger, carry more grief, and bear more fear because of what you've seen and what you know and how you feel about this place you call home. And although he wrote it a couple of years ago, I think it's just as true, if not more so, today. The world we lived in is no more. Things are very different. And we, as I said, we just don't know where we're really heading. And for many of us, you know, this is heartbreaking. It's like, how do I help? How do I serve? What's, what's going on? What's, how are things going to turn out? And we just don't know. And we've seen way more than we want to see. We've, witnessed more. We have experienced the anger and fear and animosity and bitterness that we just didn't think was possible, not in, especially not for Americans, not in our country, not in our backyard, right? But we're here for a purpose. And for those of you who feel like just about giving up hope, now is not the time because you are important. The fact that you care so much is important. You are someone whose love and light is important to the next phases of this, uh, what happens in this world. So just as a reminder, and I know you know this, but it's super important for you to take care of yourself good care of yourself, good, um, healthy habits, uh, 
giving yourself permission to fill up first, less people pleasing and more taking good care of, of yourself. Do what you need to do to fill up so that you can give to others from the overflow. And giving yourself permission to feel what you feel. You don't need to wallow in it, but just acknowledge, hey, I feel angry. I feel bitter. I feel overwhelmed. Whatever is true for you, allowing yourself to acknowledge and feel those feelings. They won't go away by themselves. They'll just get um, shoved down if you don't take care of yourself and acknowledge how you feel. Yeah, just it's really okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel angry. Um, it's okay to experience whatever you're feeling. And, you know, on those moments where you experience a little joy, allow yourself to experience that too. Even though everything else around you looks pretty bleak, those moments of joy are precious, like gems or pearls. Hold on to those as well. And mostly, you know, just try to keep your heart open and soft. I know that's when things are this crazy and so mean and there's so much anger and fear going on. It's, it's a most courageous act to keep your heart open and soft. But I encourage you to do that as much as possible. Try to move through life with infinite, infinite compassion for yourself and for others. We all have different viewpoints and we don't see eye to eye. So allowing yourself uh, that compassion for yourself and for those around you um, is going to help move through these trying times. And as an aside, I have a gentling meditation that is super helpful for just keeping your heart soft and allowing yourself to feel more compassion for yourself so that you can give that compassion uh, to those who are next to you. I wish you many blessings. If you hear this during the holiday season, uh, peace and blessings to your heart and love to you and your families. And I know that you know there's plenty to be frustrated or sad about. So if you are experiencing this to, to any really deep degree, uh, please reach out to me or to someone else, but don't suffer in silence. Allow yourself the compassion to treat yourself with kindness and ask for the help if you need it. Because your heart, your light, the love that you carry inside is so needed, especially in these times. So make sure that you take care of yourself one way or the other. I think that's it for now. Love, blessings. Until next time. Bye for now. So there you have it. A little heart and chutzpah for the day. Today, give yourself a little permission to be both big hearted and a little feisty. Just like you were created to be. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll reach out to me via social media at Kamala Murphy, and it's Murphy with an E-Y, uh, or at my website, kamalamurphy.com. Again, thank you for joining me. Many blessings. Until next time. Bye for now.